Do you obey Jesus? Do I obey Jesus? Just one example. Do you obey Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you eat pork? Do you eat pork? What is it? QA. Do you eat pork? I was going to bring in circumcised, but you got a better one. Don't say to me what goes in doesn't defile with what comes out. Go and put diesel in a petrol car and turn with that. Yeah. Do you eat pork? I don't live under the law. Do. Who's law? Jesus told you to follow Wait a minute. Who's law? You're talking about the law that Jesus never opposed. You're talking, you know what, who said the law is a curse? It was Paul, Paul. in Galatians 3.13. Okay. In the same passage, he calls Jesus a curse as well. He says, Jesus delivered, up, delivered us from the curse by becoming the curse. So who is the curse? Number one curse is the law. Which Jesus said, if someone changes, even a dot will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Guess what Mr. Paul does? He not only changes the law, uh, law he calls it the curse. Can you imagine the law that Moses brought? The law that was given to him, which is that, enshrined that in the is Ten the Commandments. You guys law. are saying, that Paul is said it's a curse. Specific people and a specific time no, no, Paul. Would you call the law of God? Hashem, if us. I may. Yeah. Jesus said, until heaven and earth passes, I have not come to change the law, but a dot or an iota. I've come to fulfill the law. Absolutely. So Jesus didn't change the law. You people have changed the law after Jesus. When Jesus now hold on, man. Do you eat pork? Yes, I do. Why? Because that was a very specific But you say you follow and obey Jesus. That was, a, that was for an element of purification. But what was purification? The law? No, 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 not eating pork and shellfish and stuff like that. And the, What's and the things of, no, no, that comes under the law. Okay. Yeah, so, wait a minute. When God gives you the law, can it be a curse? For us, for example, not to kill, not to steal, not yeah. to murder. To me, these things are beautiful. Yes? But we cannot keep the law. Humans Who said are, that? Why? No, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Humans are incapable of keeping yeah. the law. Up until the day who, who you die. Who told you that? Up until the day you die, you will sin. You will lie and you will cheat and you, you will steal. Uh, will speak for yourself. I, I, I count myself in that. Yeah. I count myself in that. So, so you know, you, if you're going to say that, yes. then you're saying for God to give this law is a mockery. Because imagine this. If you, if you told your child to go and climb Mount Everest, and you know your child is a child. It's incapable of that. Yes, even you as an adult are incapable of that. No, wait, wait, would it be fair for you to instruct your child to go and climb Mount Everest? God gave us the law. Can you answer the question, please? It's an analogy, I understand. I but it, it, it has a purpose, okay? It has a purpose. So would it be fair for you to tell your child to climb the Mount Everest? If he knew that he couldn't do it. No, if you knew he couldn't do it. Not God, he. God He's a child, remember? You are the adult and you're the one giving the instruction to the child. Yeah. Now, would it be fair for you as an adult to give such an impossible task, and you know it is impossible, would it be fair for you to give such a task to your child? So it sounds from what you're saying that is an unfair thing. But exactly, it is. Time, it is. And time, and you would be calling, wait, wait, you by by implication, you would be condemning God as being unfair when He give you this 613 laws that you can't keep. Why is that unfair if He's God? He can decide what's fair. No, because God is not unfair. <laughs> Can, that is the reason I'm telling you. Can I explain the, the curse of the law thing? So you said the law is a curse. The not me. The, oh, read, read Galatians 3.13. Okay, this is the context. All who rely on works of law are under a curse. As is written, cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of law. So that's the curse. Those who don't do what's written in the book of law are cursed. Read verse Christ 13. redeemed us from the curse of the law, which in context is not the law, but the curse that comes on people who do not follow the law. What is the curse of the law? It's the curse that comes, it is in the law that comes on people who do not follow the law. It's, it's actually very, it makes sense. So if, if somebody doesn't follow... You can't take one No, no, wait a minute. If somebody doesn't follow the law, then why is it the curse of the law? It is a curse upon the person. No, but it comes from the law. What is the law? To obey the law, right? Yes. Okay, so if anybody doesn't obey the law, then that person has become a curse. They become, they Am I are, right? They are cursed. Okay, so, yeah. so Paul would be cursed because he said not to circumcise. Because he says circumcision is of the earth. Christ became Heart. the curse so that we wouldn't have to be. So, so, so now, now you're calling the law a curse if you don't follow it instead of calling the person the curse who doesn't follow it. So when you say redeem, redeem from the curse of the law, so Paul, number one, Paul would be the curse. Because as a Jew, he should follow the law. Paul was a Jew, right? The whole he should follow the law. Then why is he teaching people not to circumcise? Yes, he said circumcision is only of the heart. And what did God establish with Abraham? By the way, it wasn't the law of Moses. Circumcision was a law given to, to whom? To Abraham. Until the end of time. For all eternity. 
Yes? What did Mr. Paul say? You don't need to be circumcised anymore. Yes? Who changed it? Not Jesus. It was Paul.